It's game day. It's game day. It's game day. Yes. It's game day at last. Good morning. Right. As you can tell by the intro, it's game day. Um, so yeah, this video is just going to consist of what I do to prep for game days, well a home game, away days is slightly different, but that'll be another video. So before I move on, we have had a home game, but because there was some problem with security and things with the venue, uh, we had to actually play it in a nearby city of Ragusa and play it in an arena there. So this is our first official home game in Comiso. So, yeah, it should be good. We should be expecting a big crowd. Um, yeah, so this is a video on how I prepare for home games. So breakfast, which is gonna be provided by my teammate Sam, who's kindly offered to make us breakfast. Um, yeah, and then I'll have a weight gain and shake. And then I will uh, make my traditional pre-game meal which is a bit of a superstitious thing of mine because I played well once after making it so it's kind of what I do now and that is a spaghetti bolognese so I'll show you how I make my rendition of a sp uh, spaghetti bolognese um, yeah so hope you enjoyed the video teammate is kindly making us breakfast <laughs> the good stuff and I'm squeezing the oranges. Pre-game breakfast of champions. Had my breakfast. Now, on to my shake. Breakfast was really nice. We had, um, what did we have? We had uh, like scrambled egg, potatoes and bacon, like all in a bit of a, like, a deconstructed, uh, Spanish omelette almost, um, courtesy of Sam, it was really nice. Um, I squeezed some fresh orange juice with it, which if you don't, if you haven't, fresh orange juice to stop like for your, <laughs> for your breakfast, fresh orange juice is one is small, as I was saying, it's still to come on the video, I'm gonna show what I pack in my bag. show you how I make my bolognese. That's how I'm gonna finish this shake. Probably gonna play a bit of PlayStation uh, just to relax a little bit. Um, then I'm gonna start cooking my bolognese which takes about an hour, hour and a half because I like to let all the flavors marinate. <laughs> later right I'm in the kitchen about to start my spaghetti bolognese although I've got to check that I've got all the ingredients no I haven't damn it let's try that again back in the kitchen after having to go back to the shop to finish my ingredients list because I thought we had some chopped tomatoes, but we didn't. Um, right, on to the ingredients. Right, ingredients. Chopped tomatoes. Some spaghetti or pasta of your choice. I chose tagliatelle. I bought some fresh oregano. Some fresh thyme. 
some bay leaves and onion and then we've got to go over to the cupboard garlic and then seasoning is important so aromat if you know you know goes in everything some pepper some rosemary and some chili powder and I'm also going to use this premium chili and gar garlic grinder and then finally a stock cube Himalayan salt and some mixed herbs so that's the ingredients now time to prepare the ingredients First thing, got to prepare the onions and garlic Onions, finely diced, I'm gonna get like three cloves of garlic, because I love garlic. One, two, three. One. Might only use two actually. I'll just use two. I said done. You can actually add carrots if you want. Um, yeah, so you can add some carrot. Uh, I quite like adding some carrot to it, but I haven't got any carrots today. So just onions, garlic. Now to prepare the mince. So how, how I season it, what I use to season it. So first, salt. Then, pepper. Now, trust the aromat. Not too much. Now, the next two are optional. So this one is our crushed chili and garlic, and a little bit of that. And then chili powder, or here it's called pepperoncino. Um, again, that, that is optional, but I like mine with a little bit of a kick. All right, and then you get your hands and you just, and then wash your hands. Now for the cooking. So get your pan on even here, some olive oil in the pan. Now usually, people would put the meat in or the onions first. I like to toast my rosemary and it flavors the oil. So I get my rosemary, and get a nice healthy bit. Hear that. Hear that sizzle, give it a little mix around. So, let that toast for a while. Now, the onions. Right, usually, I would have tomato puree at this time, but I forgot to buy it. So no tomato puree. Alright, so next in the pan 
is my seasoned mix. Now, I add the garlic. Turn the heat down. Wash your can out. Give it a little mix. Now for the Italian season. But first, a little bit of salt. Pepper. Mixed herbs. Couple springs of thyme. Taste the seasoning is good. Gotta add a little bit more chili colour. Right. So now that's on, I'm gonna let it simmer for at least half an hour. But now I'll show you what I pack in my bag for game days. Game socks. Speak up for the training room. And of course, my kit. And that is what I pack. Now I'm gonna go play on my food, have my dinner. Five hours later. Just got back from the game. Of course, we got the win. Mm -mm -mm. Dub Nation out here. Um, we made it a lot harder than it needed to be, um, but a win's a win, and we're not at our best yet, and we're still winning, so positives all around. Uh, I had a pretty good game myself. I went on to get 12 points. 10 or 11 rebounds, so overall pretty good game uh, in about 18 minutes. So yeah, I just gotta keep, keep grinding, keep working hard, and then opportunities will come. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.